Hey guys, hi again. This is uh, our day three, and in this Java programming tutorial, we're going to talk about one of the most important topics that is just in time compiler, a GIT. So, let's start. What is a just in time compiler? Just in time compiler is a part of JVM, our Java virtual machine, that is used to speed up the execution time of a Java program. So when we talk about a compiler, okay, so what is the basic definition of a compiler? So it is a program that translates the source code into a machine executable code. And here, just in time compilers interact the JVM at the runtime and compile the byte code into a machine code. And now you can see that here, JVM has JIT, that is our just in time compiler it is an integrated part of java virtual machine okay now how just in time compiler differs how it is different from other compiler guys the normal compiler so whenever a program is executed this compile code is invoked instead of interpreting the entire bytecode and is quite efficient and increase the performance of a program as well so if there is a repeated code, instead of interpreting it every time, the code is compiled and executable code by the GIT compiler. Now, let's summarize the whole functionalities of a just-in-time compiler and take an overview how GIT compiler helps in the compilation of a code. Okay, so we start from very beginning. We have our Java program that is our source code. And a Java C compiler compiles it into a byte code, an intermediate code. Okay, and this is a set of instructions which is only understood by JVM. And here at the runtime, JVM, that is Java Virtual Machine, loads the dot class file, that is our byte code, and determines the semantic of each individual byte code and performs the appropriate computation. Okay, and here the additional processor and memory uses during the interpretation. Okay, and it slow the performance. So here JVM has an interpreter. Okay, it has an interpreter, Java interpreter, and that converts line by line the machine code, sorry, the byte code into a machine code. Okay, but here due to some extra computation and uh, since we convert the source code, sorry, the byte code into machine code line by line, so it slow the performance. So here GIT comes in picture. Okay, so here GIT compiler helps the performance. Okay, so it improves the performance of a Java program. So when a Java method is called, GIT is activated and it compiles the bytes code into machine code okay at the runtime so a java interpreter converts the byte code line by line into a machine code okay and someone if any java method comes jit is activated and here jit compiled the whole that java method byte code into a machine code at runtime and once these method calls are compiled by jit the JVM then executes that machine code instead of interpreting it and which is likely to increase the performance of the execution guys. So this is all about just in time compiler and if you like the video on Java programming so please do subscribe the channel.